Hello, my friends. Let's continue practicing pronunciation of years in part two. Today, we will not only talk about single years, but we will talk about groups of years. First, a decade. A decade is a group of 10 years. And usually when people write a decade, they write the number and then an S on the end. When you pronounce it, it is similar to a single year. So you say the first two numbers together and then the last two numbers together. But now the last number is plural, more than one. For example, this decade is pronounced the 1990s, the 1990s. The 1990s are the years from 1990 to 1999. These 10 years together are the decade of the 1990s. 90s. Let's look at another example. What is this decade? How can we pronounce this decade? This decade is the 1920s. The 1920s. The 1920s were from 1920 to 1929. 1920 to 1929 is the decade of the 1920s. As you can see, my friends, it is correct to use the in front of the name of a decade. It's the 1920s. Let's look at some exceptions to this rule. The years 2000 to 2009 have a strange name in English. We call them the aughts. This decade is called the aughts. The next decade from 2010 to 2019 are called the 2010s. So again, 2010 to 2019 are called the 2010s. Now, there is a shortcut. You see here these decades, the 1980s and the 1960s. But it is also very common just to say, the 80s. You can assume that the person speaking means the 1980s. So it is very common for people to just say the 80s instead of 1980s because we can assume 1980s. In the same way, this is the 60s. And again, we assume the 1960s. We don't need to say 19. You can, but sometimes when people are speaking, they just say the 60s. Let's look at some examples. The 40s were a difficult time in world history. You can assume that the person speaking means the 1940s. In this example, she grew up in the 70s. This means that this person was a child and was growing up in the 1970s. Next, my friends, let's look at a century. A century is a group of 100 years together. This century, again, has an S 
on the end because it is not a single year, but it is plural. In a similar way, we say the first two numbers together. So the 17, and then with zero, zero, we say hundreds. Now, hundreds is plural to show that it is many years, not just one. The century of the 1700s means the year 1700 to 1799. This 100 year span is called the century of the 1700s. In a similar way, this is our century right now, and we say the 2000s. The 2000s would be the span of the year 2000 to 2099. Again, this is our century where we are living, the 2000s. Now, there is also a different way to say century. For example, the 1900s is also called the 20th century. The 20th century and the 1900s are two ways to say this century. For the next one, this is the 17th century. The 17th century or the 1600s are both correct. Finally, our century now is the 21st century. So the 2000s and the 21st century are both correct ways to talk about this century. My friends, let's practice. In what decade were you born? In what decade were you born? This doesn't mean the exact year, but it means the group of 10 years in which you were born. I was born in the 1950s. You can also say, I was born in the 50s. Next, in what decade did you come to the United States? In what decade did you come to the United States? I came to the United States in the 90s. Or, I came to the United States in the 1990s. Next, in what century were you born? In what century were you born? I was born in the 20th century, or I was born in the 1900s. Next, what is your favorite decade to study in school? What is your favorite decade to study in school? I really enjoy history, but my favorite decade in the 9, 8, 20th century to study in school is the 1960s, the year 1960 to 1969. Many important things happened in United States history during this time. Finally, in what century did your country get independence? In what century did your country get independence? For the United States, this answer is the 18th century the 18th century or the 1700s. Okay, my friends, let me know if you have questions, but remember, practice, practice, and never give up. <laughs>